everyone, I'm Drew from NWA3D and we're going to go over how to install the NWA3D A5 onto Cura 4. Now it's super easy, all you have to do is have the SD card that came with your printer or download Cura from Ultimaker's website. Now, if you have your SD card, just plug it into your computer and inside of the folder that's Cura, you'll find your version of Cura, either for Windows or for Mac. Once you get that installed, it's going to pop up with a printer dialog box. If it doesn't, just click over here in the top left and then click Add Printer. Once we click Add Printer, we're going to go to Custom and type in the name of our printer. So the NWA3DA5. Once we have that, we'll click Add Printer. Now, there are a couple things that we we'll want to change in our printer settings. If these settings are not correct, then our printer will not print right. The first thing that we're going to ch change is the X. So we're going to go ahead and change the width to 125 millimeters. Then we're going to change the Y to 150 millimeters, and we're going to leave the Z height at 100. Once those values are, ch are changed, we're going to go ahead and click on the G code flavor and change that to RepRap. Now the last thing that we want to do is we want to change to our extruder and we're going to change our extruder value to make sure that it's 0.4 on our nozzle size and our compatible material diameter is 1.75. If both of those values are correct, then we can go ahead and click finish. Now the last thing that we have to do to set our printer up is we need to load the printer profile. Your printer settings are found right here up in this top where it says fine. Once you click there, you can click, if you're in this recommended settings, to custom, or from custom to recommended. We're going to go to custom, and then click the profile drop-down box, and click where it says fine, and then say manage profiles. Now from here, we're going to import our profile from our SD card. So we have our SD card plugged into our computer. We're going to click import, and then we're going to navigate to it. So we'll click on our NWA 3D A5 SD card, then we're going to click Cura, and then NWA 3D A5 normal quality dot Cura profile. Then open. Now once we have it open, it will say successfully imported. We'll go ahead and click OK. And then we'll click on our profile and click activate. Now once our file is activated, our Cura settings are ready to go. So we'll go ahead and click close and then we can load a file to print. So if you, already load a no, no, if you already know how to load a file, then that's awesome. But we're going to go over that real quick, too, to help you out. So first, you need to create a, a file in any type of CAD program that you want, as long as it's an STL or an OBJ file. We're going to go ahead and load an STL that's found on our SD card. So we'll click the Load button, and then navigate to our SD card. And then from there, click STL Files. You can click on any of these. I'm going to go ahead and click on the NWA3D keychain. I'm going to go ahead and click Open, and then now you'll see your file is loaded into this area. This is your build area. Anything that's inside this box is able to print, and it's the same size as your print bed. When you click on your file, you can move it around by clicking Move, and then moving these arrows side to side. If your model goes outside of your build area, it will have these lines that go through it. If those lines go through it, that means that it, your printer cannot print it. You can hold the right mouse button and rotate your screen to make it easier to see what can and cannot print. So we'll click our file and we'll move it back into the middle and then we're going to go ahead and click scale. Now for scale, if your model is designed to be an exact size, you can leave this alone, but if you want to make something larger to where it prints a little bit longer but it can be bigger or smaller so it prints faster, you can change your scale. So I could change this down to 50% the size and then when I hit return, it will shrink our model down. I'm going to go ahead and leave this one at 100%. And the last thing is the rotate feature. When you click rotate and then you click on these circles, you can rotate your model in different directions. Now when you click and hold and drag with your mouse, your model will rotate. You want to make sure that your model is centered and flat as many of the solid surfaces are touching the build plate as possible to make it print successfully. So I flattened out my keychain to make it easier to print and I can hold my right mouse button and rotate to make sure everything looks good. As long as it's inside of this box, my model is ready to print. 
Now I can change the name of my model to see what it would show up on the SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and name this Keychain. So I'm going to delete the rest of this, and then I'm going to go ahead and press Return. Now, my name of my model is Keychain, and I'm ready to slice. Slicing is when your model is actually converted to the G code that your 3D printer reads. So I'm going to click on Slice in this bottom right corner. Now that I've clicked on Slice, it's going to tell me how long my model is going to print, which is about 29 minutes, and how much material it's going to use. If you would look at, like to see what your layers of your model look like, you can click Preview and explore your different models. You can move your layers up and down to see what each individual layer is going to print, and then you can click print, Play right here to watch the nozzle print. This is a great way to make sure that the walls of your model are thick enough to be able to print and to make sure your model is going to 3D print successfully. When you know that it's ready to print, we can go ahead and say Save to Removable Drive to save it directly to the SD card, or we can click the down arrow and save it to a file in whatever folder that we'd like, and we can drag that folder onto the SD card later. I'm going to go ahead and click Save to Removable Drive. Now once it's saved to the drive, I can go ahead and eject my SD card, put it into my NWA 3D A5, and select Print from the control screen. And that's it. You're all done. I hope this helped to be able to print in Cura 4, and good luck 3D printing. And if you need any help, let us know at nwa3d.com, and we'll help you out. Thank you.